Hey, welcome to Old Ass Movie Reviews. And today we have a Christmas story, Christmas. Just released on HBO Max, uh, starring most of the original cast, at least the ones they yeah. could. Uh, Peter Billingsley returns as Ralphie. If you are fans of the original Christmas story, you have to watch this. Yes. Yeah. This this is good. Yeah. One of the things I will say, if you have never seen the original Christmas story, don't watch this yet. Yeah, because it you won't, won't make any get sense. it. It won't make any sense. You have got and it's that's one of the things I noticed. It's like, man, if I didn't know what I know about a Christmas story, like mm -hmm. seen a million times, right? Um, right. I would miss so much in this movie. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I just I just want to say I wasn't expecting much. I really wasn't. I was thinking this is just, you know, hey, let's just return to the universe, make some money, and have kind of a sappy movie. Um, I think I texted you. I cried the whole damn time. It's all yeah. I'm gonna say. It's and like I, it was so good. I told the wife that I said Scott said he's practically crying most of the thing, and she's just looking at me. And said, but he said he loved it. So you know, because I watched it. The, I watched it last night. I think yeah. you watched it the night before. The night before, yeah. Um, let, let me just go real quick over everybody's names that's in the movie. Please, let's I do, do that. I think it's worth worthwhile. Uh, Peter Billingsley is Ralphie, like we said. Yeah, he re he's returned as the the main character aaron hayes plays sandy parker ralphie's wife mm -hmm. river drosh or drosh plays mark that's also their their boy julian lane is julie she plays their daughter and here's a great great one to take mom's place My julie God. Haggerty, the woman Wonderful. from airplane and many other things but i always remember her from airplane the it's the voice. Like, once yeah. I heard, once I heard that, I was like, "Where yeah. have I heard this before?" And she looks familiar. It's like, "Oh my god!" You know, is it? Is yeah. it? Is it yeah. Elaine? Is that and Julie from uh, Airplane? It's like, they sure is. Really aged her too, because I'm looking at her. I'm like, "Oh my god, she didn't age." And then I was like, "Wait a minute, no, I've just, I have literally just recently seen pictures of this woman. She does not look that old." No, they did, they did a did great, a really job. good job. And she's kind of hunched over, and she moves around like a little old lady, and until somebody comes to the door and she goes goes right down yeah right down I, to the ground I, I, I am gonna i do want to say something uh dave and i are going to be very um skirting around a lot of this movie i don't want to yes. spoil it for you if you haven't yeah. seen it um the it just it can't be spoiled uh so i just want to get yeah. that this is not your normal hey we're going to spoil the hell out of it but <laughs> If this movie was out for three to five years already, I'd spoil it because I yeah. guess most people have seen it. But it's A, a brand new movie. B, it is really well done. It yeah. really is. I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. A and it is exactly what I wanted to see in a sequel. Yes. And I didn't know that I even wanted the sequel. Yeah. Okay. Let, let me put it that way. Um, let me go back to names real quick, yes. and then we'll talk about the story and how it unfolds. Without no spoilers, folks, we are not going to give any spoilers today. Just one, but that's but we'll... one. But you kind of have to with that one. Yes. Um, Scott Schwartz played Flick again, and <laughs> he owns the the place they go to. Uh, R. D. Rob played Schwartz. <laughs> I'm sorry, R. D. Rob played Schwartz, uh, and. Ian Porter was the publisher that he was talking to earlier in the movie that uh, Ralphie's character talked to. Um, da, 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 I'm trying to look in. Oh, there. I will give one spoiler. You do get to meet a Bumpus. Yes. Uh, and Davis Murphy is the little boy who plays Dilbert Bumpus. Perfect. And and it's exactly what you thought. <laughs> a bumpus would be like yeah um zach ward was yes um, returns <laughs> was officer should i give give the name or just say the cop the cop i'll just leave him at the cop zach ward played the cop yeah. uh ian petrella is in it also benjamin noble um uh, well the thing is if you know zach ward you know what character he played so yeah yeah but you'll yeah. have to watch the original yeah. movie and then go look at the names because i'm not giving anything else away right. i'm trying to keep it as much as much down as i can but those those are all the main characters and it 
Do you want to go ahead and say this, this is actually based? This is probably closer based on Gene Shepard's. Well, um, it did say it did come from a story from Gene and based yeah. on it. Uh, so it, it is coming from Gene's work. And it is um, in God We Trust, All Others Pay Cash. Yeah. So if you've read that book, this this movie, this movie starts out like that book starts out. So I was really shocked at that. And I was like, oh my God, this is this is really close. This is mm -hmm. he's nailing it on the head right now. So he did a he must really love Gene Shepherd books. And this to me, I'm sorry, I, I interrupted you as no, after I said, you go ahead and talk. And then I started talking. No, so go ahead. <laughs> no, you were saying Gene Shepherd. <laughs> I was just going to say that no. this movie seems like a real, a real love letter to yeah. a Christmas story yes. to Gene Shepard and to uh, Darren, Darren McGavin. McGavin, is that right? Did I, I said the name right? The dad, the old man. Yeah, I, I'm not Darren sure. Darren McGavin, right? I have no idea. I will double so, check. But, but um, yeah. it just seemed like a love letter. Oh, definitely. To all of that. It me. definitely did. And that's that's one of the things uh, about this movie. If if you're a fan of A Christmas Story, you're going to like this. It is set up the exact same way. Yes. Uh, the format is the same. It's, it's almost as if uh, now I'm going to forget the name. Was it Bob Clark who directed? Bob Clark, right? Yeah. he direct, it, It's you, You'd think he was behind uh, on the set doing this because the yeah. movie is just the beats are there the narration um it's it feels it feels like you've just walked back mm -hmm. into it and and like you it's like it's not a movie i thought i wanted to see um right. and i was just kind of like huh eh, my expectations are very low i said we sat down to watch it and right off the bat and here folks is the one spoiler we're going to give you because it happens yeah. at the beginning of the movie and it's the only reason this movie happens exactly is, it, it, yeah you, you have to have this happen is ralphie's dad has died right and he has to return home for the funeral and help mom mm -hmm. that's all i'm going to say about that um but it, it sets it up and this movie holy crap is basically about how ralph has to find a way mm -hmm. to fill his father's shoes yeah and you, he gets to see just how big those shoes are and how much love this man had for his family. And yeah, yeah this I, I get thinking about it and it starts You're to, already well enough. I yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, so I think I am too. But, um, but it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's good, man. It's this, good. This, a lot of people throw around, this movie has heart. And that's instantly, I never want to see that movie because I always go, <laughs> that movie's going to stink. <laughs> this movie it's got a lot of heart but it's yeah. in a really good funny way there are sad moments in it there's a couple of moments in it that i don't think were meant to be as sad as they are but they click a memory from either childhood or my young adulthood or just a memory uh, you know from from the years past it's like oh shit yeah i I get that i, I get yeah. why that person's feeling that way that's brilliant what a yeah. great piece and I, I like the movie because for me, and I'm trying to think of how to word it. For me, you're looking at Ralphie as an adult and he thinks he's all grown up. He thinks he's got being an, an adult and being grown up all figured out. He oh, yeah. really does. And then whenever he has to go back home, he just realizes, like you said, how big those adult shoes really are how yeah. big his father really was yeah and yeah. it's just such a good story it just shows the love that he has for his wife the love his wife has for him the kids love the him kids yeah um he loves this. he just he he's like a devoted he is a devoted father he just mm -hmm. loves his kids and it, it's just funny to see the interaction and then, like you said, there are callbacks and he's trying to be like the old man and he's there, trying to teach the kids how to be like, watch this, watch what I do. And it's just so funny. One of the things that we notice when we watch this is I so many times I said, oh, my God, he's his father. Yeah. He's working on a car. He's starting to mumble he's rum, yeah. rum, 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 <laughs> like the old man with the furnace. And it's like, oh, yeah. my God, here it is. And what was really cool to me is his 
son and daughter are are him. They're each yeah. a part of him, but yeah. split. And you see little Ralphie Parker in those kids. And it's yeah, like, oh definitely. my God, this is, this is written so well. And it just, it just ticks a box. And, and maybe it is because it triggers uh, memories and feelings yeah. inside me when I watch it. But I th- for whatever reason, it's just, it's so damn good, dude. Well, it's like the very first one, the very first Christmas story. You watch the very first Christmas story, and I grew up in the Midwest. The winters were hell in the Midwest. Mm-hmm. I mean, when you got that lake effect snow, and then that lake effect blizzard snow, yeah. blizzard of 75, 76, man, was no joke. <laughs> that Dude. shit, it closed us down for like two fucking weeks. <laughs> People don't believe me that I said you could walk up to a, onto a roof from yeah. the ground because of Dude, the snow that's, drifts that's uh, not even a, like this this is in the midwest we were getting buffalo style snow yeah like freaking nuts it's then, insane man. but that's when i see the first one and the little brother's all bundled up and he's like i can't put my arms down that triggered an absolute childhood trauma memory <laughs> like, oh, yeah. i remember having to bundle up that much to go outside God, so many layers i, mean, I know they dry your shoes and run back out <sighs> put your yeah. socks on the heater let them dry put God, them you, back you, out. you just beat your your flesh and feel like it was burning because it was so cold <laughs> man it's just yeah. oh you're God. getting frostbite no i'm not let's play football <laughs> oh, <God>. keep <laughs> let's going play catch some more <laughs> Yeah, good times, good times. Y'all go out there and play in the sub zero temps. All right. <laughs> so, so, a lot of those moments in the new movie, A Christmas Story, Christmas hit me very much the same way, but at a different age in my life. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like something, he would say something, his wife would do something, his mom would say something, the kids would go do something. And each one that's doing is like, they just trigger like a small memory, like, oh my God. Like, there's, there's a scene where the wife looks at, uh ralphie and she's just been told something that ralphie did when he was a kid and she turns around she looks at ralphie she's like that story's true and ralphie's like yeah i told you and i looked over at my wife i said did you probably felt like that because i would tell my wife stories and she was just always looking at me like yeah right yeah right then she started meeting my family members and they would bring up the same stories and talk about stuff and she'd be looking at me like really (laughs) she's like that it's true. I yeah. said, see, you thought I was making that shit yeah. up. <laughs> well, and I, and I think maybe that's, you know, as you mentioned, you see it differently as an adult. Yeah. But here's here's the, the cool thing. Peter Billingsley is pretty much our age. We grew yeah. up yeah, <laughs> right along same, with Ralphie Parker. Yeah, the same time so it's, yeah, it's like, wow. Yeah, he's a little before, actually quite a bit before, actually. Um, but this movie takes place in the 70s. And my God, mm-hmm. the sets it's perfect they nailed it oh it was it's wonderful let's talk about the sets for yeah. a minute did you see the line of names coming up when they were running the credits did you watch any of the credits no, i didn't i a watched a little bit but i was what are the things of Polish like, names oh, oh yeah and the credits for the carpenters was like a half mile long wow. man that thing just kept they going i'm like lot. my god these guys must have just built everything <laughs> like nothing was left undone yeah, they're, it, they're in the original house. Yeah, it looks great. It's great. Well, Everything used perfect. to be a museum. Some they're just now selling that at this point. Oh, really? I don't know if they ever sold it, but whoever owned the house opened a museum. Oh, and they painted it to look the exact same as the house. Oh, that's perfect. And people would come. They, they, yeah. I know, really if I was in the, really cool. I think it's in Dayton. <laughs> so, I no, Cleveland, Cleveland. I think it's in Cleveland. Cleveland. It's in Cleveland. Cleveland? Cleveland. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why I thought Dayton, but yeah, it's in Ohio. Oh. But that house looked the exact same. I mean, that they had it was good because they didn't leave it the 40s style. They updated yeah. it. You've seen that mom had that, you know, the mom and the old man had the house painted and yep. wallpaper up, but it was still very 70s. My God, you kind of got it was great. It was great. That was that Ab- was something. The sets were absolutely phenomenal. The sets, the clothes, it was it took you right into the 70s. It and, was well done. If you've watched the trailer folks um you will know that they go back to higby's department store that's a great scene that's a great it's almost it's not quite for me because of the tension going on with ralphie in the original movie but it's a really good ending in that in that little sequence with 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 santa 
and it's it's just so and what's funny is it all works out yeah it all works out everything yeah. works out and it i does. don't know how well um, you know the that, that's the whole thing uh with this with this movie is well i was gonna say something and it's a slight yeah never yeah. mind um it's it just it becomes a really feel good happy christmas movie and yeah. it's uh damn it's well done you you might like if you're just in there watching the movie and you and you can follow the steps of the first one and you watch the first one as many times as i have and you just got this thing bam 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 and you're plotting it you're plotting it you're plotting it they like you said they they it's set just, the movie up very much the same way like very much same style flashbacks and memories and just weird stuff and funny things funny gags black bart even returns with his gang and i think it's the same actor i think they, i'm they not think sure but it actor. was it was really cool to see those kind of callbacks yeah um but everybody all of ralphie's friends and all his enemies are all in this movie that's all i'm gonna say yeah. i won't tell you how they show up when they show up where they show up but they are all in the movie and there is a double dog dare no i'm sorry a triple, triple oh triple dude dog dare, yeah. Uh, like that's, something straight out of Jackass. <laughs> yep. And, but but that's in the trailer, so I don't feel too bad about saying that. But what happens is absolutely phenomenal during that triple dog dare. Um, it is just as good as the original one. Uh, I, I'm just I'm trying not to give anything away. Yeah. This this movie, like we we had talked about, was so well done. And you could tell that Peter Billingsley loved the character. And he loves, I'm going to say it, in a time when you just feel like as a fan, you're getting pissed on a lot. Yeah. Peter Billingsley is giving you flowers. He's patting you on the head, hitting you on the back, saying, hey, come have a drink. Come on, we're having eggnog. Let, let's go. This is fun. Family, your family, come on in. Yeah. Come on in. Join us. Peter Billingsley this is it's a love letter to the fans too it is it's not it just is. a love letter to the old story and and to the actors and the writers and it is a love this is a love poem this is a letter saying i love you guys and i really appreciate you hanging around this is what i can do with this character now and i hope you like it yeah and let me tell you if peter billingsley ever sees this i liked it and thank you very much because yes. God, we needed a good Christmas story. Yeah, we did. And you did it, man. Yeah. So thanks. That's all I can say, yeah. dude. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well done, that, Peter. So um, with that being said, because this is spoiler free, we can't go into a lot, mm -hmm. but I will um, say that I thoroughly enjoyed this movie did not think I was going to thought it was going to be, Hey, let's just cash in on the name, something right. soulless. Uh, just, and what was I wrong? Well, I, it was great. I mean, I, I saw like there, there's one, not the summertime one that you were telling me about it. Cause I have heard that that's mm -hmm. a good one, but they had one out a few years ago. That was a Christmas story to yes. the official sequel or whatever like that. And I seen that and I'm like, I saw the trailer. I was just like looking at it like this. That looks soolless to me. That yeah. looks really. Well, nobody ever talks about and, that one. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Like I just saw it. Um, yeah, when when you have. Um, yeah, I mean, nobody ever talks about number two, um, and not many people know about my summer story, which was also called "It Runs in the Family," right. directed by Bob Clark again, uh, returning. So it's the exact same style, same feeling, and and it feels like nice. a Christmas story, nice. only set in the summer, and the actors are different, but it you forget that real quick. Yeah, uh, but That's with cool. um, with this, yeah, it uh, it wasn't one of those. It was. Mm -hmm. As you said, hey fans, I see you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I just felt like he did this because he felt like I I don't feel that this was like a money grab. There's there is no. none of that. There is, and I feel like I need to say that to some people who might think, oh, this is just you know somebody in Hollywood trying to make a buck. 
Well, you want to make a buck with your movies. Well, yeah, absolutely. Okay? You're, you're they sure man. were trying to make this a buck. This is a capitalist, <laughs> capitalist society. I want to make money. Scott wants to make money. You folks watching, I'm sure want to make money. So I don't have a problem with that. I have a problem with soullessly doing it. Yeah. This had heart. This had soul. This had... This had all the dreams of the original Ralphie. This had all the hopes of the original old man and his mom. This, like I said, I, I believe that this is just a big love letter to the fans. I would agree. A big, I love you. Thank you so much for remembering me all these years. You know, he's been writing and directing and doing other stuff all behind the scenes. But I'm sure every time somebody sees him, they're like, Ralphie. Yeah. They may not even remember his name. They're probably just like, Ralphie, it's, it's, it's you. Yeah. You know, so thank you. That it makes me feel good that somebody recognized the love that people have for that movie, yeah. Yeah. and said, "Okay, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it on my on on my terms." Yeah. And I think he did. And thank you. It, it was great. Absolutely. This this movie will take you to places emotionally you probably don't want to go in a Christmas mm -hmm. movie. That's all I'm going to say. Very well done. For me, they didn't last very long because a joke usually happens right after. That is, it is well done in that aspect. <laughs> yeah. Um, so so yeah. they don't leave you down. There's, there's never a moment where you're just bawling. There's a moment where you're just, you're just starting to well up, and then something just back, ridiculous yeah. happens, and you start laughing. You're like, "That's life," and it's life. That's yes. life. Yes. He, that's it. He 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 pulled a moment well of said. life. And just yes. said, here you go. That's, <laughs> this is Ralphie. <laughs> that's great. So your final thoughts on A Christmas Story Christmas, I can already guess. Oh, yeah. I was going to say a smart aleck remark, but no, I'm not even going to say no. that because I enjoy this movie so much. I'll probably yeah. watch it a couple more times this season for I'm sure. I'm tempted to go watch it again right now. <laughs> My highest regard that I can give to any movie is if I see it and I want to buy the DVD or the, or the Blu-ray when it comes out, for mm. me, that's a great movie. Even if it's a bad schlock sci-fi movie, that's the highest praise that I can give to a movie. I'm going to buy this as soon as I can buy it. Yeah. That's me. Great. Awesome. <laughs> How about you? <laughs> uh, let's hear your words now. I loved it. I loved it. Uh, <laughs> didn't think I was going to, and that's all I can say. Watch right. it. Um, if you don't like it, you're wrong. I'm just saying. <laughs> No, you're not. We value all opinions except the wrong ones. I mean, wait, damn it. How do we do it? <laughs> Look, you have no soul. Uh, I don't know. It's, you're a Grinch. You're you're a Grinch. You're yes. Grinch. No, uh, honestly, I don't I if you if you're a fan of the first one, you're gonna love the second. Yeah, I, I can't see how you can one, anyway. Yeah, yeah. I know there's people out there who won't like it, but they mm -hmm. probably didn't like the first one. So yeah, so uh, then you don't bother watching. Yeah. All right, anyway. Thanks again, folks. Uh we We'll be back next week with, uh, I'm not sure exactly what, but something's coming. Are we going into regular movies now? <laughs> I don't know yet, but we'll, we'll figure we'll it figure out. Figure it out. Figure it out with us. And hey, hit like, hit subscribe, hit share, tell your mom, you know, hey, anybody. Mom, friends and friends yeah. and moms and tell your yeah. dogs. Like I hear my dog. <laughs> and your dogs. Right. My dogs are telling everybody in the neighborhood right now. What That's right. <laughs> Thanks again. Thank you, folks. Merry Christmas.